Welcome Madtrons. So in today's video, I'm doing Annie from Attack on Titan in her like Titan form, obviously. And this is actually a collaboration with a new friend on YouTube. New friend. My new friend, uh, Witty Artist Artistry. Woody Artistry. I will link her video down below in the description box as well as her YouTube channel. And I'll also link it up in the little eye that pops up and you can click on that at any time to check out her version. She's going to be doing a Colossal Titan, which I have already done a Colossal Titan. So if you'd like to also check out that, I will also link that down below. But hers is pretty awesome. So yeah, other than that, let's get painting. So as usual, I took my white eyeliner pencil and just sketched out the mouth opening and where the eye holes are gonna be going. And then taking this custom mixed color, it's kind of like a tan white color, it's just lighter than my skin color, uh, almost like a foundation color if you want to go with that too, but all I did was I took a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow, and a very tiny bit of brown body paint from Mayron and just mixed them all together to get this color and I put it all over my face, avoiding the holes that I'm going to be painting in later. Next I'm taking this red body paint from Mayron, I think the color is Berry, it's a brighter red color and I'm filling in the holes on the mouth. As well as taking that same berry color and filling in the holes for the eyes. Taking a smidgen of black eyeshadow from Urban Decay called Blackout, I'm filling in the eyes, kind of starting the shadowing effect, making it look like the eyes are sunken in. And now taking this black, I am doing the same thing to the very tops of the holes on the mouth to make it look like they are sunken in as well. And now taking some white body paint, I'm just kind of dragging that around the sides of those mouth openings to make it pop a little bit. As well as taking that same white color on a detailed brush, I am adding the dots that are in the eyes. Taking a little bit of that same black eyeshadow, I'm going to go around the inside of the eyes, kind of going around where those dots are, just to add some more texture and some more detail into the eye shape. Now taking a teeny tiny bit of a gray eyeshadow, I'm going to be going around the eyes. The gray eyeshadow I have in a BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette, it's like a giant one just to give them a more sunken in look and give them more of a cartoonish vibe since this is a cartoonish character. It's an anime character, but you know what I mean. Taking that same gray color, I drag it around the mouth holes just to make them look like they are, you know, sitting underneath the skin doing kind of the same thing I was doing with the eyes. And also taking some of that gray and adding it to the mouth. She has like these two lines going off the bottom lip and I'm kind of just starting that process with that gray. Just to give me a better idea of where I want them to lay. Just in case I need to like take it off or anything. The light gray is easier to cover than a black or a red. Grabbing some of that black eyeshadow again. I went back to the eyes and kind of added some detail lines like where her eye lid would be I guess you could say. Um, I just wanted some more detail in that big section because it looked too plain to me. And now taking that same gray eyeshadow, I went down the bridge of my nose and kind of just outlined my nose almost like, like if I was contouring it, but a little bit more extreme, more liney, just to add the more cartoony look or anime look, whatever you want to call it. And then I continued to also shadow around the mouth a little bit more. Then I took this red lip gloss and put it on top of my lips. Then I took some of that black eyeshadow and just added it to the little detailed lines I have going off the lips. I decided they needed to be darker and blacker, so I just took that black and added it on top. As well as taking some more of that black and dragging it around any of the lines I already made on my nose and around my eyes. These are just spots that I felt like they needed to be a little bit deeper and a little bit darker. Going back to the white body paint, I dabbed a little bit inside the holes of the mouth and in the holes of the eyes to give it some more detail. Give it more of a um, muscle-like look to it too. Going back to that white eyeliner pencil, I just sketched out the openings of the holes and skin that will be on my chest section. Taking that same red berry color, I filled in the neck and chest portion. And also filling in the little holes she has on the chest, but you can't really see what I'm painting there. Grabbing that same tan color that I put on my face, I put it on the open skin parts. The open skin parts, the non-open skin parts, I guess you could say. And then going back to that black eyeshadow, I am shadowing some more inside all of those holes, giving it depth. Now taking a darker red body paint, I think this one's just called Red from Mayron, I decided to start adding the muscle lines. And with this I kept it very liney and very cartoony again. Then 
Then taking some white body paint, I added some lines as well. I dabbed it with my finger to spread the color out to give it a softer look so it wasn't just a white line. And in some spots I kept the line sharper and in some spots I didn't. I also decided to add some random blotches here and there of that white just to keep with the feel of it being more natural, I guess you could say. Then grabbing that same gray eyeshadow I've been using, I added some pull lines around the skin section. And in any spots that I felt like they needed a little bit more of a deeper tone, I used that black eyeshadow. You could also use a dark brown to give it a more realistic vibe. And then to dingy up my skin a little bit, I took a bigger brush and some brown body paint and just kind of made my skin look a little dirty. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out Woody Artistry's video. It's awesome. It's amazing. Her look is just great and you guys better go check her out. Let her know that I sent you if you go to her channel. And yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me any other ideas on the art-related projects and I shall see you guys next time. Bye!